Hey guys, it's Colette here with your Marketo tip of the day. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a tip to help you create simple but highly effective testing journeys to ensure that you have error-free Marketo programs. So let's say I've created a fairly complicated program in Marketo, and now it's time to test all the possible journeys somebody might go down if they enter this program. However, I might have limited resourcing and sometimes one person starts the testing and then leaves and I need someone else to pick it up again, which can become a real nightmare if things aren't recorded properly for everyone to understand what's going on. Your test leads might get deleted before you finished using them, programs might be edited when they shouldn't be, and people can waste time retesting journeys that already work. You get the picture. So we found that the best way to prevent any of these things happening is to have a very clear testing journey on a Google Sheet that can be easily accessed and edited by anyone involved in the testing and making sure that they all record it in this sheet. We lay out our testing journeys as I've shown here. First of all, it's important to have a sheet detailing each of your test leads in case somebody else needs to go in and check on a lead and to prevent any unwanted duplicate test leads. The sheet is also handy so that you know which leads to go in and delete from your Marketo and or your integrated CRM once your testing is done. We then record each journey on a spreadsheet. So here we've got six different journeys, each with their own different sheet. So if we take a look at journey one here, you'll see at the top what we have is um, clear instructions on what you have to do before starting any tests. We then have details on any users involved in this particular journey. So here we've got a friend one and we've got their email and password for the site they're going to be using. And then we detail who's going to be in this um, testing journey. And then we've also got the details of the other person who's the referrer in this case. We then have a table here where we have the user, the action that each user is taking at each stage, and the desired response within Marketo or within an email send. We then have the status, which is important to fill in so people know if this has been done. And then we also have the success column where we detail yes or no, if it was or wasn't successful. And then we have notes. So if it was successful, but you had to do a few things to make it successful, you can record that here. Um, and if it wasn't successful and you couldn't make it successful, you can write down what happened here as well. Um, so yeah, that's it really. And it's just a really effective way of making sure that everyone knows what's going on. And it's also a really good thing for new Marketo users to do, to set out testing journeys, because it really gives them an understanding of Marketo programs and how to troubleshoot them. Um, so that was our tip of the day today, and hopefully it will set you on the path of hassle-free testing and error-free programs. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next one and click here to subscribe so you don't miss it. Until next time, thanks guys.